Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Chief Tranka and I'm here with a brand new series of Crusade Kings 2 Game of Thrones. And last time I let you guys vote on which should be my next series and we have a clear winner after counting all of the votes and it is Dawn. You guys want me to play as Dawn. So Dawn got 6 votes, Bees Baris got 4 votes, the Far Winds 3, the Starks 2 and the Aaron campaign as well as the Stefan Baratheon campaign only got half a vote. Now, is ha how is half a vote possible? For all of you who picked two playthroughs or two series instead of one, I just split your votes in half. Um, so, for example, there's a lot of people who um, voted for Starks and Dawn and just uh, gave half of one to, uh, to each of the series. Now, um, I didn't actually want you guys to vote on the Starks, Aaron's, or Stefan Baratheon, but you did it anyway, so this time I just let it go. Uh, but next time, if I do this again, um, I will do a straw poll, so that's just going to make it easier for me uh, to count, but also for you guys that you know what you are actually supposed to vote on. Um, but yeah, so, you probably have already noticed that in the thumbnail, the Dornish or the Martell sigil looks a little bit different, different uh, as usual, because the sun has a little Targaryen dragon spliced in, and I did that in order to represent what we are going to do in this playthrough today um, or yeah today I guess and um, so yeah we're starting in the Robert's Rebellion scenario as Doran if it loads thank you as Doran Martell and we will try to keep the Mad King and his son in power but yeah uh, let's get into the game that's probably all I have to say I, I think so Alright, let's get started here. Um, so yeah, before we get really started, I want to um, do a little trick. Um, it's not exactly cheating, but I want to get most of the... Uh, I want to get all of the soldiers in the Dornish lands. I want to squeeze every single soldier I can. Um, but yeah, so let's first go this. King Ares is our ally by blood through my sister Elia's marriage to the Crown Prince Rhaegar. Robert Baratheon has risen up against the king and now honor dictates that we aid our allies and my sister. The Lords of Dawn shall march. And yeah, as I said, I want to squeeze out every single soldier. I'm gonna do that in a certain way. So, I will, uh, you see all these little guys who currently have no High Lord, uh, even though they're in the, in the Jure Duchy. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is... This guy has... Yeah, he hates my guts. Uh, so how many men can we raise right now? So we can raise um, 20,000 men, but I'm going to increase that to about 25,000 if possible. Uh, maybe even 30,000? I don't know. We'll see. As much as possible by giving out honorary titles and all that. So this guy hates us because... What do we have? We hold uh, Castle of Sandship, Planky Town... Sunspear and Gaston Grey. This is this one right here. This is in the High Lordship of Ghost Hills. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna raise these men. And we're gonna give this guy. How much men how many men is he gonna give us right now? Uh 370. And this girl will give us 370 as well. So we're gonna give him an honorary title. Uh the High Almoner. Of course, there you go. Um, uh, yeah, all right. Is that a little bit more now? Yeah, 440, so we're gonna squeeze them out. And now, I will give this guy, um, Gaston Gray, which is this province right here, which should make him like us way more. So now we can even raise 800 men. And now, I will also give him the, uh, no, not that, I will transfer Vassalage of this lady right here. So he should now like us quite a lot, which should give us even more troops. There you go, 1,400 raised from 300. So that's very, very good. And we should be able to give out another honorary title. Yes. So that's kind of uh, scum, scummy, but uh, we will need every single man. So I'm gonna do that over here with these guys as well. So you will get another honorary title. I'll make you uh, a cup bearer, I guess. Yeah, I'll make you uh, the cupbearer, since that gives 15 opinion. Um, so raise those men. 
and yeah, I'm gonna do the same trick. The Yorn Woods. Now this guy, I will probably make a designated regent. I'm not sure. Let's actually start off with this one. Um, make you... Okay, well... A surprise. Yeah, I want to give you transfer vassalage. Um, have to think what I'm doing right now. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, sandstone, right. So now I will give... Now we should like me more. Now I will give you another honorary title. Um, I could make you High Almana. Master of the Hunt. So you should like me quite a lot. And that's another 2,000 men right there. Very nice indeed. Now this guy will be Cup Bearer once more. We can always do that. Uh, Master of the Ships actually. That's also quite cool. Um, but yeah, Cup Bearer. And uh, that will also grant us a lot of troops. Can we actually give him more titles than that? We can. Ah, okay. Alright, let's do that then. Should give us even more men. And now we're just gonna give that to her. Transfer vassalage of this guy. And now we should be able to give designated regent again. So yeah, give her that. She's a hundred already. Okay. Well, thanks for the men. Um, we can obviously raise our own men as well. We should probably do that. Or maybe we we'll, won't do that. We will first give our master arms something to do. Train troops, levy size plus 50. Oh, they didn't actually do anything. Alright, fine. This guy, we're gonna give an honorary title. Uh, but not right now. First, have to do one more trick with this lady. Designate a regent. And one more. Keep up the swans. Raise those men. And now, give him to the Danes. Uh, transfer vassalage of this lady right there. And he should like us a lot. Another honorary title. Mm, we can't do that anymore. So yeah, this time we actually give out good titles. Master of Ships, that sounds great. So 70, this guy will need one as well. Um, we're gonna make him Capbera. The Yornwoods, uh, we're gonna make them designated regions. Uh, they're at 70, okay. What have we not raised yet? She's 100, this guy is at 66, the Ola guy. All right, so probably him. Grant, another honorary title, Paramount Knight. And maybe one more. Okay, we can't. Can we give you another honorary title? Sarah only. Yeah, okay, that doesn't help, so we're gonna give out some more titles to these guys. Master of Swans, the Keep of the Swans, and this lady can only be called Jester. Damn it, I messed it up. Well, alright, fine. So I didn't squeeze exactly every single man, but I think we still uh, did quite a good job here with, with all of this. And the Yornwoods, you're gonna be able to send uh, 3,700 men. Okay, I think that's all the men I can raise. Yeah, so we got it up to 18,000, which is pretty good. Um, we definitely need to focus. Um, what do we want? Now, as the Dornish, we already have a daughter, so it's not important to get a son. We also don't want to see our, uh, our house on the Iron Throne because we are loyalists. Um, as Doran, um, he is more of an intrigue guy, so I'm going to use that focus. He's not really a fighter. Our brother, Oberyn, is the fighter. So we're not going to pick, um, you know, combat ability, we don't want to improve that. Adopt a lifestyle, I guess we kind of would like to, but I think Doran wants to fall in love. I'm not sure if that's exactly true, um, or maybe amass wealth. Um, I guess it just, my knowledge about Doran is not limit, is, is quite limited, so I'm not sure what he would want. Um, Chivalry and Honor. Mm, sounds more like a stock. I think I think falling in love, every character kind of wants to do that, so I'm going to pick that one. After all, he married a Norvos girl. Okay, so this should be all the men we can raise. 
and we're gonna send these guys 11,000 as quickly as possible over here to help John Connington um, over here of course and Fountain always also seems to be against the Stormlands now the problem in this war is going to be that um, the Stormlands are very dense so the Baratheons will be able to assemble their men very very quickly whereas the Reach does take a while and by the way I'm gonna make these guys all them per uh, interesting characters as they are of course the Mad King himself and his heir lovely Rhaegar um, obviously Tywin's kind of important does he still have ooh Cersei not married we could marry her to uh, Oberyn probably okay I'm, let it, I'm gonna let you guys decide would you want uh, Oberyn to marry Cersei Lannister after all so far the Lannisters have not done anything against our family so this could still be a suitable match Obviously, the Greyjoys are also important. Um, John Aaron. And the Starks. Yeah. We don't really want to know what's going on beyond the wall or at the wall. It's just nobody really cares. Uh, Jantus. Oh, another Dornishman. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, uh, let's actually unpause, shall we? Oh, wow, that took a while. Oversee the province here. Thank you, my kinsmen. And you, lady. Collect some taxes here, if you will. Okay, I raised every man I can, I think. Okay, 13,000, let's march over here. We're gonna meet up there, and let's uh, let this game get started. Certainly took a while. King Aegon the Light, unlikely. Yeah, no shit, he died. Okay. Alright, that was odd. And everyone raised his men. Now we're immediately going in to help out these guys. Not sure if that's the smartest move, considering the storm end forces are quite huge, but I guess we'll have to. Who are we gonna put in? We're gonna put in Quentin. Uh, he's a flanker, so he should be in the flank. Oberon should... Do we have a organizer? We have one organizer, a lady. Jenalyn, my courier. She's an organizer, so our troops will be quicker. We're gonna put Quentin um, to lead the flanks and Ormond. Um, probably Oberyn will lead that side. Okay, let's see where this goes. If we could destroy these 1,000 men in uh, Blackhaven, that would be amazing. And these 2,000 men shouldn't be standing around. Let's go over there and move. Okay, so um, I don't really care about the islands. I shouldn't have met them. Interesting. Okay, so um, Lord Brian of Fontaine's actually joining us over in Blackhaven, so that should be a quick battle. Um, kind of Baratheon's uh, robbers hanging out over here. Uh, Felwood. Okay, so we have Stannis, who's leading troops in Tarth. That's, oh, okay. And Lyanna Stark is imprisoned by Rhaegar. Good. Let her stay there. Okay, whatever. The Tullys are doing stuff. Okay, so this is the first battle. Uh, it looks like we're losing. Uh, but that's just a small one. That's just Felbert. Um, poor little guy. But he's just not important at all. Okay, so we have attacked into the mountains, which is probably a bad idea. But we have way superior numbers. They don't even have a flank here. Um, so that should fall rather quickly. The center's falling as well. Yeah, we got this in the bag. Um, although we did lose quite some men. They're already running. Awesome. So now we're just charging them. Great. Um, we'll arrive in Fountain. They're all going to go over here. Now, hopefully these 2,000 men will not arrive there. Um, kind of have to be careful because of the Baratheon. So we're going to probably stay in Fountain and wait for our reinforcements from the Dornish mainlands. The Reach obviously does have a lot of men, hopefully, and they're joining us. Uh, yeah, 20, 27,000 men. Uh, that's as much. Wow! I could raise, I could, I could re-raise another 4,000 men. Hmm. Why is that possible? Gee. Ah, uh, damn, that sucks. I thought I would take everyone. Do I want to do that? We kind of got to be quick. 
can't really be too slow. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. We have the man race now. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna go back. Um, but if this war will, uh, you know, go on for a while, we might have to. So we, are, yeah. So the Baratheons are walking into uh, Dalston Keep and into the Reach. So that shouldn't really be uh, any problem. We've attacked in Fountain. Where's our reinforcements? Six thousand men. Do we have another organizer? Maybe it gets there quicker. Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, fine. Um, another five thousand. You're gonna go to Yornwood. I'm gonna go Will actually. And you guys go to Yornwood. Oh, another three thousand men. Okay, we actually do have quite some forces. Quite glad. But so far, things look quite well. If we can destroy Baratheon armies before they meet up with the Riverland forces uh, or the Veilmen, then we should be should be good. So we definitely destroyed these 1,000 men. Uh, so that's that's one good thing right there. We should probably move on to Summer Hall, uh, hoping that we will either catch them, but not be caught ourselves. Okay, this girl is no longer. That's useful, leading the center. Maybe we should let this guy. Well, he doesn't have any skills. Um, do we have someone leading the center, inspiring leader, and unyielding? Yeah, he's aggressive. He's only 14, uh, but still better than her. And the flank should still be led by Quentin. Thank you. We should probably. Yeah. Okay, we caught him. It's still hills. Um, we're facing off against Lady Melora of. Harvest Hall and uh, Lord Brian of Nightsong and Lord Paxter of Harvest Hall. Oh, so uh, these two are uh, married and they're fighting the same battle. Interesting. And good for them, I guess. But we're gonna destroy them anyway. We have way more forces. Um, that should be rather easy. The Reach is already over here. Very nice. The Battle of Summer Hall. That's right. Okay, these guys, you should move on to Fontaine. Now, we have to be careful over here because there's a lot of attrition. I don't want to lose men, um, you know, for stupid reasons. Uh, Princess Ariane. Oh, yeah, so I should mention um, that I play this mod with the More Decisions sub-mod. Um, this is the first time I'm actually trying out this mod, and uh, so far, well, it's not that impressive because I'm focusing on the war, but maybe that will... Uh, help us later on if we want to make some interesting decisions. But yeah, in Educate This Child right now, Oberyn, who has the most learning? Uh, the Maester, obviously, but that's my daughter. I want to do it her. I don't want, I want to do it myself. And who's this? Tien Sand, um, yeah, you know what? Is that Oberyn's daughter? Yeah, okay, Oberyn, you can, you can educate your own daughter. I think that makes sense. Alright, so this battle's going very well. Happy. Even though we'll, it says we are losing war score, which I'm kind of surprised. War of the Usurper. What are we losing? Battle of Felwood and Lord Harroway's Town. I've actually... Oh, so, so the battles I win, they don't count towards war score. That is unfortunate. But at least we're gonna, we're gonna be able to kill troops. And this guy... He's plotting. Just stop your plot, please. Should probably send my council here. Um, yeah, probably my spy master Oberyn. Okay. So I have at least my what's his name? My master at arms as a leader, military leader. Good. Should probably go in and lead this one right now. Although he's not possible. Odd. Okay, so there's 14,000 men. It's probably the uh, entire Stormland army. And I'm not sure what is Rhaegar doing. He's going to Rayane. That's not smart. You cannot fight the Ve... You're pretty much just gonna fight everyone on your own. I don't think you can do that. You should probably meet up with uh, the Reach and obviously us. Um, so you go over to Grandview and you will go to Fountain. And this way you can move on over here. You guys are still stuck here, Jesus Christ. How long does it take you to walk over here? It's amazing. Alright, so we won this battle. 
Um, now we're gonna get attacked here, it seems like. He's gonna arrive in Summer Hall. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But the Reach is coming. Uh, hmm, we should probably move over to Fountain. But yeah, uh, that was the end of this first episode, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Now, before you just uh, click off, I want to say that um, I'm not going to pre-record any of these videos. I want you to, you know, be able to give your comments and thoughts on this, and I will try to implement them as good as possible. So one question I have for right now is basically just, do we want to marry Prince Oberyn to Cersei uh, Lannister? Is that something you would like to see? I kind of would be interested to see, or maybe Marjorie, oh, okay, she's only one year old. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> That's uh, Jailbait right there. But yeah, um... Yeah, so think of this as maybe a, a stream with a 20 minute delay. Um, that's that's kind of, this is the closest I'm gonna get to streaming in a while, so hopefully you guys will like that. Anyways, I'll see you next time. It's Chief Drunker, signing off.